The second principle of lean thinking is identify the value stream. In order to do this, you really need to know what a value stream is. It is all the activities, value added and non-value added, that deliver a product or service to the customer. One way to do this is to draw a map. We call this a value stream map. This map would help identify all those activities as well as the processes to deliver that product or service. Value stream mapping is a paper and pencil exercise. We really don't want anybody to have any reason for not doing the value stream mapping process. Now how this works is with a paper and pencil we're going to go through the material transformation process first. We usually start with the process closest to the customer. That means where the product is being delivered and work our way upstream through the process. That process as we're going through it and calculating uh, information, we're going to be asking people what they think about the material transformation process and what the challenges are. We also include the material and information flow on the map. We're now ready to start a future state map. We finished the brainstorming and we're now looking for ways to eliminate the non-value added activities. The future state map answers the question what would the process look like if we were able to eliminate some of these non-value added activities? That alone is a very powerful tool, just asking what if, and then by drawing the map, you're now starting to create your future. The action plan connects the current state and the future state. The action plan is a list of activities that are needed in order to transform your company from the current to the future. Although the skills for drawing value stream maps is a course onto itself, we will introduce you to some of the concepts and icons needed to run through a case study and simulation of this process. Our goal with mapping in this fashion is to communicate amongst our organizations utilizing a standard language. If you have two cross-functional teams doing mapping within an organization, each team should be able to look at another team's map and know what is happening.